Hi, I'm Curtis Reese. I'm a senior solutions architect with AWS. Welcome to the first video in our series on getting started with AWS Code Commit. Today's video is going to focus on setting up the necessary permissions to access code repositories hosted in AWS Code Commit. For those of you unfamiliar with the service, AWS Code Commit is a secure, highly scalable managed source control service that hosts private Git repositories. As a managed service, it eliminates the need for you to manage your own source control system or worry about scaling its infrastructure. You can store anything from code to binaries in it, and it supports the standard functionality of Git, so it works seamlessly with your existing Git-based tools. First, AWS Code Commit uses AWS IAM to manage permissions. Now, when granting permissions, you decide who gets the permissions, the resource they get permissions for, and the specific action that you want to allow on those resources. Let's visit the AWS IAM console, and we'll set up our first permissions. This scenario will probably be your most common, setting up permissions for a team of developers working on a project. In this scenario, we'll create a group for our developers and then apply a policy to that group to give the users in it access to AWS code commit. Now, from the left menu, we'll click Groups and then click the Create New Group button. We'll give our group a meaningful name, such as Developers, and we'll click Next Step. Here we see a list of various policies that we can add to this group. Now, we're looking for a specific policy, so I'll filter the list for AWS Code Commit and select the AWS Code Commit Full Access Policy. This policy will do exactly as it states. It's going to grant me full access to AWS Code Commit, which includes the ability to delete repositories. So this is great for this example, but for your production account, you'll want to select AWS Code Commit Power User or create a custom policy that is more restrictive. Now we click Next Step. We now see a summary of the group we're creating, and everything looks good. So let's go ahead and click the Create Group button. As you can see, I now have a group called Developers. Any developer I add to this group will be given full permissions to AWS Code Commit. But as you can also see, this group is empty. So let's go ahead and add my user to this group. From the Users tab, we can click the Add Users to Group button. I'll click my user and click the Add Users button and now my user is a part of the group. So at this point, I have access to use the service, but I also need to set up the credentials needed to interact with any AWS Code Commit repositories from the Git CLI. Please keep in mind that these credentials are user specific, so you'll have to do this for any user that needs to work with the Git CLI. And these permissions are found under the Security Credentials tab for each user. So let's click into my user and create these credentials. You have two options for this uploading an SSH key, or generating HTTPS Git credentials for AWS Code Commit. For this video, I'm going to choose the HTTPS option. I'll click the Generate button, and then click the Download Credentials button, which will download a CSV with the credentials for use later when we clone our first repository. In less than five minutes, we were able to set up the permissions needed to successfully work with AWS Code Commit. In our next video in the series, we'll walk you through the process of creating and working with AWS Code Commit repositories. For more information, you can visit our website. Thanks for joining us.